Thank you, Devin. And is an exciting race coming up for skiers across the Northwoods area. Uh, Brian Heggie joins us now from the Rhinelander Nordic Ski Club. Rhinelander yes. Nordic Ski Club. The, yes, Rhinelander Nordic Ski Club is an exciting time. And tell us a little bit about this event coming up. Okay, we are holding our seventh or mm -hmm. sixth or seventh uh, cross country ski race out at the Cedric A. Vig uh, Outdoor Classroom, Cavoc, mm -hmm. uh, on South Shore Drive in Rhinelander. And it's, like I said, it's the sixth year we've held the event out there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's grown from about 100 cross-country skiers to this year we're expecting 350 high school wow. and middle school skiers from about 20 ski leagues uh, <laughs> across Wisconsin. And we also have two or three, sometimes four teams from uh, Upper, Peninsula, Upper Peninsula also come down to the event. So. Um, it's the second largest high school cross-country ski event in the state. And throw on top of that, coaches, parents, spectators, we have probably between 500 to 600 people at this event. My goodness, that is a massive organization. It is very large, and it <laughs> takes a lot of people to organize it. And um, we're always looking for help. Yeah, um, I can and I'm imagine. Gonna put, and I'm going <laughs> to put the plug in right now. If you want to see some unbelievably good athletes, if you yeah. want to see a lot of fun, if you want to participate in the sport, just go to our website. There's a sign up there for all sorts of positions, all the way from on the course help to mm -hmm. helping with set up the stadium and everything else. It takes, it takes an army to put this thing on. Well, yeah, for hundreds of people and hundreds of skiers even, mm -hmm. my goodness. And we were just talking before this about the, the skiing conditions. And yeah, I know you're a big cross country skier. I'm a downhill skier yeah. and you know, we need all the snow we can get. So hopefully Devin Biggs can, you know, get us something. You know, he, then. he perked my ears up when he said <laughs> we have this little front coming through tomorrow um, because we could use a little bit of dusting. But mm -hmm. right now our trails are in pretty good shape. We have a really nice solid base. Um, mm -hmm. Cross country skiers don't like powder. Um, we mm -hmm. like nice compacted groomed trails. And with a little bit of a dusting on the top, we couldn't ask for better conditions. I mean, everybody thinks that they were really icy, but we can, we can work with that. And we'll have some pretty good times out there. Well, fantastic. And when people want to come out and perhaps watch this event, where is it, is it an easy thing to watch? I know it's probably a long loop. What's, what's the distance for this race? Well, the Cavoc trails were built with spectators in mind. Oh, that's I nice. Mean, um, and what's unique about the Cavoc trails is they're compressed within a small area. Mm. And we could actually hold a World Cup event out there right now because they meet the specifications for Olympic type skiing. That's impressive. And that's what makes these trails so special. And Rhinelander, uh, very lucky to have them. So we have some trails set up that you can walk and watch the spectators. Um, there's a big spectator area. There's an area up on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. um, if you're adventurous, you can walk <laughs> along the trails and, and get out to see them. So it's got some really nice viewpoints. There's even the lodge that's out there that has a railing and an over a deck, oh. and if you can squeeze it amongst the kids, which probably put a weight limit on that, you know, on that structure, you can have a nice passing view of the ski. So we encourage people to come out and watch. And how's a respectable spectator going to be acting out there? Because I know it's, you know, different sporting events have different sort of cheering and support involved. Well, we have some rather <laughs> boisterous ones, but okay. uh, I haven't seen a chainsaw out there yet. So, what is that his concern? Well, that's, that, that's the European style of rooting for these races. You know, they have those blow horns and everything else. But oh my it goodness. seems like last year, because everybody was coming out of the COVID shutdown the year before, it, it got rather raucous, but it was great. I mean, that's what you want. Our course is set up to have interaction with spectators. Yeah. You will have skiers going by you three feet away if you're in the right place. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. Uh, I'm very, very interested to see if anyone comes out there with a chainsaw. Hopefully, we're on a chain. You know, keep yeah. it safe. But that'd be a, that'd be a rowdy time. Yeah, we just <laughs> we just don't want any of those Viking horns going. The vuvuzelas. Yeah, yeah, oh that's, my that's, gosh, that's not right. <laughs> that'd be just too much. Well, I'm excited for it. It's again January 21st and 22nd. Uh, time of day that this is going to be happening. On Saturday, uh, the classic interval start 
will occur at 10 o'clock. We have uh, the high schoolers going off first, and then the JV, and then about 1 o'clock, the middle school will go off. And then on Sunday, we start a little bit earlier at 9.30 uh, with a um, freestyle or skate pursuit. So the skiers line up in the time that they s finished from Saturday, and they try to catch the person in front of them. And those will start at 9.30, and then again, the middle school will start in the afternoons. Um, and on Saturday, we have a race for youth. We have an untimed youth race. So if you want to really see something fun, you'll see everybody from fifth grade all the way down to first grade doing oh, a little 1K loop, and we have a, a nice little reward for those kids because it's all about promoting the sport of, uh, of cross-country skiing, getting people involved and active in a lifetime sport. Exactly. It's important to keep active in the winter months, and this is a great way to do it. It is. So it is glad it's an way. option for the kids. Yep. Well, thank you for coming on. And again, if people want to get involved, donate their time or, you know, whatever they else want to do, where can they visit the website? Uh, Rhinelander, uh, Nordic Skiing, or Hodeg.com. And it's right there. Just find it. Well, fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Thanks. for coming on, Brian. Thank you very much. Yeah. And coming up, we have What's Trending.